So if you just happen to watch the section on software control of microscopes, you may have noticed that it, actually, that it took quite a bit of time to acquire that two-channel Z-Stack. And in part that is because the different components need to move in place, the dichroic needs to move, the Z-motor needs to move, but it's also cumbersome for the software to give a command to the camera, read out the image, wait for that to be done, and then do the next, etc., etc. So there are ways to speed this process up, and one of them is to use the camera now as a video camera, and then use equipment that is moving, that is so fast that it can move in between the exposures that this video camera is taking. And on top of that, we need to synchronize these components, and the synchronization is now not anymore through software, but it's through uh, electrical signals coming from the cameras. So many of the scientific grade cameras have signals that indicate that they're exposing. So the signal will, the electrical signal will go high when the exposure starts, and then when the exposure stops, it will drop down, readout happens or something happens, and then it goes up again. And so that signal we can use to now trigger events in other hardware. And I'll show you how that is implemented here. One other aspect is now, okay, we get a video stream of images into the software. The software needs to understand what is what. So it needs to still communicate with all this equipment and to present it to you in a way that you can work with it. So we'll now go through these different components and show how they are linked to each other through electrical signals. So first we go to the camera. The camera has a controller. On the back of that controller is a BNC cable. But that BNC cable runs to this box here. This device has a little microcontroller in it that is reading out the state of this input continuously. And you can load up a program, a sequence of whatever this thing must do when the state of the input changes. So the software will load up the sequence into this microcontroller device. This one controls the AOTF, an acousto-optical tunable filter, and that is basically a very fast um, uh, wavelength changer. So that AOTF is sitting there in front of the lasers in the back, and that will select, in this case, either the blue or the yellow line coming through and can do that at microsecond timescales. The electrical signal travels on and it travels to the controller for our Z drive. And in this microscope we have a piezo Z drive and that piezo Z can move also at very high speeds uh, although it takes still uh, quite a few milliseconds for it to move to a, a, another Z position. So also that controller of the Z drive can be programmed to, for instance, every two signals after two TTL signals to change the Z position. So now putting this all together, we can run a very fast uh, multi-channel Z stack. If we now put this all together in software, then in this case the user interface st stays exactly the same. So in software we can again say that we want a Z-Stack, we want multiple channels. The software will figure out, hey, I can use this electrical uh, synchronization um, and I can run the camera in video mode. A couple of things that are important is that the exposure time for the channels is the same. We do not want to be moving things like filter wheels that are slow at the same time. So I use here configurations that don't do any of that. And then when I now press acquire, and I'm asking here for uh, steps of 0.2 microns from minus two to plus two, so this is a total of 21 slices in two channels, then we'll see that that um, is being acquired in like uh, seconds, two seconds or so. So we get like a very fast acquisition of this data set, only limited 
by the, uh, the, the, the exposure time of the camera. And again, we can go here through this data set and you see that we have an, a nice focus somewhere here in the middle.